I am going to be trying Sutliff's Crumble Cake English Number One. According to the tin here, this is an old, an age-old crumble cake consisting of mature red Virginias, Latakia, Burley, and Oriental tobaccos. A true Balkan-style blend for any English smoker. And this was actually a gift from somebody uh, in my company. It was a gift from a coworker for a little Secret Santa thing that we had going on a while back. So, what a cool Secret Santa gift, right? Um, anyway, full transparency, I did try this one time, like right after I got it, but I don't remember anything about it. So. I feel like I can still give you a, a pretty fresh take. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to open this up, give it a smell, let you know what I'm smelling, light it up, let you know what I'm tasting and experiencing. So let's get into the tin note here. Hmm. So it's very woodsy. And there's a little bit of a red fruit note. Um, but overall, a pretty mild tin note. It almost smells like bark on a playground. And it kind of looks like bark on a playground, if I'm being honest. Uh, if you want to take a look there. Oh, I just dropped a piece. <laughs> Whoopsies. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, so not a ton coming out of the, the tin here. Just a general woodsiness, barkiness, and a tiny bit of red fruit. I'll be back once I've loaded a bowl and had some time with it. Okay, friends. I've been with this for a while. I'd say I'm a good third of the way through the bowl and it took a while it took about 10 minutes but I'm starting to get the experience of this blend it is very very creamy and it seems like that's the main way that the lot of Kia is expressing itself is this just thick creamy note that I really do enjoy. It's almost like a cream soda. Uh, and I think the, the soda part is maybe coming from a nuttiness that I'm getting from the burly in here. And then the woodsiness is coming across as a sharp sort of sour note, almost like like a wet leaf, but like a like a sour wet leaf. I know that <laughs> probably sounds like nonsense, but that's what I'm experiencing here. But given how dull the tin note was, I am pleasantly surprised. And it's it's not like like a smoky like punch in the face lot of Kia note. Or even like a, a little bit of that mixed in. It's just completely, like I was saying, just thick and really creamy. Uh, super enjoyable. I bet it would be killer with a cup of coffee. And I couldn't help myself. I, I know I'm supposed to be paying attention to the way this tastes, but I did grab some stout. Because <laughs> my goodness, do these pair well together. Um... You know, I'm not a scientist. I'm just here relaxing. So please don't hold it against me that I'm <laughs> drinking beer with this as I try to offer you tasting notes. Anyway, I'm going to get down to closer to the end of this bowl, give you some final thoughts. But so far, so good. Well, I'm getting down to the last a bit of this bowl here and I'm feeling good feeling relaxed so I'd say the Nick hit is uh, 
doing that for me. I don't quite have any tingles or anything, but I can definitely tell that I've smoked a bowl of tobacco, which is always nice. Only flavor development change for me was sort of a building of the creaminess. A little bit of black pepper and a bit of a floral note, maybe coming from the Orientals. Very pleasant. I'm so set on certain English blends. Namely blends like um, Early Morning Pipe, Nightcap, um, Plum Pudding, Maltese Falcon. I've got a lot of English blends that I, I know I like and I'm always going to have on hand. So it's hard for me to want to add anything else to the mix. Um, I did recently add Northwoods to the mix, but I'm pretty picky when it comes to English blends. Right now, I'm not thinking I'm going to buy another tin of this per se. But at the same time, it has really been enjoyable. And it has an interesting subtlety to it where you want to sip it slow, almost like a Virginia. And there is, you know, I think a good deal of Virginia in here. Just based on the lack of smoky attack. Um, also the Burleys. But... I mean, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to say, yes, you should try it. Um, but I'm not going to buy another tin for now. I'm going to keep smoking this. And who knows, maybe by the end of the year, I'll, uh, I'll change my mind on that. But yeah. Thank you to my coworker for gifting this to me. What a lovely gift. And thank you for hanging out with me.